In this section, we're going to look at using object snap tracking. So let's go down to our command line and verify that object snap is turned on. Uh, we're going to verify that we have endpoint, midpoint, center point, and quadrant activated. So we have all of those activated. And then we're going to turn on OTRAC for object snap tracking. Object snap tracking gives us the ability to track from existing objects. We have a top view of this part and the side view of the part. Now we're going to draw the front view without drawing any construction lines. I'm going to start the line command and I'm going to move up to this corner and acquire the endpoint. What I mean by acquire the endpoint, I'm going to pause over the endpoint until AutoCAD grabs it and then I can start tracking from that. I'm going to go over and acquire these two points and you'll see that AutoCAD will acquire that intersection. I'm going to pick that point. Uh, using the polar tool, I'm going to track down and I need to stop at this bottom edge. So I'm going to acquire that point, drag my ba mouse back over until it lines up directly underneath the point, pick that point. The width of this shape is determined by the top view. So I'll go up and acquire the width, track down. The height is determined by the side view, acquire that point. And I'll go back up to the top, acquire that. So you can see here, I can draw this shape without having to draw any uh, temporary lines. Okay. There are hidden lines that goes through this view, so I'm going to change to the hidden line layer. Use the line tool again. I'm going to acquire the edge of the uh, circle, track down to the front view, pick that point. I draw the hidden line, repeat it for each hidden line. This is called temporary, I'm sorry, this is called tracking. We can track from any uh, object snap point that we have set. So by being able to, to use tracking, I do not have to draw construction lines, I do not have to trim or extend. Okay. Uh, I can use the similar technique. I'm going to draw a rectangle that's the width of the front, the top circle and the height of the circle on the side. I can acquire the quadrants of these circles, find the points, and then track. Uh, miss that top one. Try it again. There we go. So this box has the width of the top circle and the height of the uh, side circle. So we're going to be using tracking and object snap tracking and temporary tracking throughout this module. In this video, we're going to look at temporary tracking. Temporary tracking works along with uh, OTRAC and our object snap. The first thing we're going to do is to locate these two lines that are drawn at a 45 degree angle. You'll notice that the line starts 0.7 inches from the left corner. Well, to do that, we're going to, to track over from the corner. Well, to help us with our tracking, we're going to set up a snap uh, using the polar snap setting with a distance of 0.1 and we're going to snap every tenth of an inch. So I'm going to turn snap on, go up to the line command, acquire this corner and then track over 0.7 inches. Once I find 0.7 I'm going to pick the point and then with the aid of my polar tracking I can locate this line. The second line is also 0.7 inches from the previous line so I can track from that corner 0.7 and draw another 45 degree line. Tracking is going to be a valuable tool to help you locate and measure objects on a drawing. 
Next thing we're going to locate is these uh, four circles uh, located here on this drawing. Each circle is a half of an inch from each edge. So instead of drawing construction lines or using offset, we're going to use our tracking tool. Well, tracking allows us to track in one direction. For example, I could acquire this point, track over a half of an inch, but I'm stuck at that point. What I want to do is track in multiple directions. Uh, so I'm going to start the circle command. I'm going to acquire this point, and I'm going to use the temporary tracking tool. It's located on your object snap shortcut menu. So I'm going to do a uh, shift right mouse click, select temporary track point, and then I'm going to track over to a half of an inch, pick that point, and then I can track down another half of an inch. And then I'm going to draw the circle. Now there's an easier way instead of using your uh, temporary tracking on your shortcut menu is to type in TT. So I'm going to start the circle command. I'm going to type in TT and press enter. And then it says specify temporary O track point. So I'm going to track over half of an inch, pick that point, and then I can track up again. Now if I wanted to change directions, I could type in TT again, and then uh, the temporary tracking would allow me to change directions. Okay. Start the circle command, type in TT, acquire the point, track over, pick the point, move up to point 5, type in TT, acquire the point, track over half of an inch, and down. This will take a little bit of practice until you get the hang of things, but once you get the hang of it, uh, you should be very quick uh, at drawing objects with tracking. The benefits of tracking and temporary tracking is not having to draw construction lines and then having to go back and delete them or trim them later.